Okay, what we're doing today is working on a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Sahara, changing out the door lock actuator in the right rear door. I'm coming in at the end of this thing so I can show you how to do it because I had to figure it out. Um, the instructions are a little bit vague and a couple little tricks you got to know to be able to do this thing right. Let's see if I can get down to it. Can we see this? Yeah, I guess you can see this. Now I got to figure out how to get this off of this and make sure it's the right part. It has the child door locks. So that's good. All that stuff looks right. And it looks like it slides in that way into that bracket and then slides out that way. So first thing we're going to do you can still see that yeah and if you cut one well i got two different color gloves on these are heavier duty and a little bit better for protecting your hands this one here gives me tactile um ability with the mouse pad on a laptop and touch screens and stuff like that this one works fine with it this one here doesn't so that's why i wind up with two different colored gloves on so we're going to wind up taking this clip off we got to roll that out. Easier said than done, right? Sometimes it is. And I am working a little awkward because I did not bother taking this harness loose from the vehicle. Didn't want to go through those extra steps. So I'm not doing it. Don't have to take it out of there, but I do have to take it out of here, I think. Let's see, does this roll over that way? Yeah, but you can't get very good access to it. Let's see if I can get this big old screwdriver down in there. Let's see if I can get it rocking and rolling here. That's that, and that's that. Now, I'm pulling on it this way. There's a lever right there that's holding it up, keeping it from or locking it in place. So we got to lift that up somehow. Hopefully, you can see that, and hopefully, I'm getting it far enough. And I'm not. Let's see what we're gonna do here. And I also got to get this one loose. Let's backtrack on that for a minute. One thing you find out working with gloves on with these um, door lock actuators, they're usually covered in a grease film, which is good for the, the vehicle, but it's bad for being able to grab a hold of anything that will. Now, let's see if I can get this up there again. And I'd really rather prefer not to break this off because then it means we've got to have a different part. And still not there yet. I don't think this will fit in there. Let's see. Yes, it will. So let's do that and roll it out. That's good. Now get that wire back off of there and then figure out how to get this out well, we got a little detent right there let's 
So, that's the bad one. That's the good one. You can tell this gasket isn't smushed down yet. I like how I noticed this on a, a F1 or 250 I think I worked on. An eyeball, an eyeball, a nose, and a mouth. Kind of a sideways gap. Kind of looks like a face, don't it? Now, we got to slide this in this way. As soon as I figure out how. Slide that in this way. Okay, that slid in there. The wires is lined up there. And that there. And that's over there. And this is over here. So now we're going to come in here and see if we can get this one lined up. You're just supposed to do them together or separate, but I did it separate that way that time. And I'm thinking I need to come back here and loosen this one up. See if we can get them slid in here kind of at the same time. Can you halfway see me? See what I'm doing? Well, that one just latched again, so I guess that's not the way to go. Oh, this is nerve wracking. In case you were wondering, it can be. Okay, I see how to do it now. You have to, when you get it up close, you have to push up on this to get this lever out of the way so you can get it in there far enough to slide it. So now I gotta remember to do that when I slide this one in. Slid in there. Now is that one slid in there? Yep, that one's latched back that way. Latched back there. And that one's back in the slot and everything's lined up. This one goes right here. Slide that in there. Lock it down. Now we'll come back around this side. And let's see. Something doesn't look right there. Okay. Let the wires go up there. And the white one goes to the red one apparently. Yeah, that one's there. So now I gotta flip it over and get the other one in the other side. Oops. Gotta rotate it around somehow. Now, stick that back down in there. And latch that one on there. Alrighty then. Isn't that interesting? And I don't know if... So do I get...
see the yellow one move back and forth there. Hopefully you can see that. So this one's back working now. Now, get this thing rolled back around this way. I gotta figure out how this is gonna go back in that lever up there. So I'm gonna take a slight detour here. Okay, so when you push the door button in, you push on that, so that's, that doesn't really have to line up special with anything. So we're getting closer. So the next thing I got to do is I got to pick this up gently, slide it up in the hole. I'm going to get the camera reset, and hopefully we'll be able to move on to the next steps. Undercover back in place, so I don't scuff up the inside of the door. the inside edge to the interior edge, not the inside, inside. Now, this would be worth talking about because later on I'm going to show what you got to do to get the window out of the glass. See these tabs right here? That's what the glass carrier works to slide down in and I'll show you how you use these access holes down there later to move those out. right there, put the screw in, and another screw, and another screw. Hopefully you can see it. Got this fender cover here protecting the paint, and I got my knee holding the panel up, giving support on everything. Now I'll go back and tighten that up better later. So we should have the button lined up with something, and it feels like it's pushing on something. Yep. So that's good, and we should be able to actually see that release there. It should be able to go like that, like the grease, and it must be locked. So let's see if we can unlock it. and unlocks, releases, does what it's supposed to do, and now the screwdriver is covered in grease. Oh, now, so, what I got to do now is get this repositioned in the door. Hopefully I can get this around here to show what's going on. We got those tabs right there that have to slide into these holes behind these white um, foam pieces. And I appreciate the fact that they put them on there, but it would have been better if they would have left it exposed and so you could actually see them. Well, 
that one's going to come all the way off and get out of the way and I'll put them back on later. Now, now we got to do get this lined up get this out of there get the bottom of the door regulator in there or window regulator in there Let's see about getting these things twisted around somewhat I think get them smoothed out and that's lined up that's down there now we got to work on getting this forward isn't that interesting? Yeah. That means I gotta loosen that back up and get that slit in there first. Let's see if I got to take it all the way loose or just get it, get it, I mean, all the way out or just get it loosened up. Because getting it loosened up, it should be able to rock back and forth a little bit and get some anglage on it. Yeah. But it'd just be easier to take it out, I think. Thing's gonna drop down. So we slide that back out. And we take our time. And we get this slid in the back side here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. on the verge of being no fun. Okay. There, that's in there. Now that's secure. Let me get this thing lined back up around here. Kind of get my wires pulled around. They're supposed to go down this way, I think. Yep, they're supposed to be down like that get those laying in there the way they should be and I think we're good to go now gotta get this back in here which is interesting close well that's being about half a pain in the scene or is it the pain in the asterisk now Glass is staying up, so that's good. Make 
come around the other side a little bit and see if we can get an angle bang on what's going on. This is decidedly a pain in the patootie. But we shall overcome this. There we go. Just had to hold our mouths right a little bit. Now I gotta get that back on the other side before I get this in there. So we gotta rotate this around. There we go. Getting close, getting close. Now, in order to get this edge down, this bottom edge has to come out. And one of these retainers is right in the way of that happening. Let's see if I can get in here with this tool again. This is the way I had to take it out. but that's got to be able to go that way and then everything drops down and it'll clear. And if you can see this one right here, when it's all the, the panel is in flat, it's hanging up on the metal and it can't come down and it has to come down and drop back to work. So now we can take this out and bring that back up, hopefully. No, we ain't quite there yet, are we? Let me get these screws put back in. At least started. That is a royal pain in the rear. Now, I'm going to see about getting this thing worked around in there to where the door panel is sitting correctly. And I just don't like the way that feels. Something's, something's out of kilter. Keeping it up, up too high. But now we're getting all the screws lining up right. I think. Let's see. Alrighty then. We're getting close. And like I was saying, you have to you got everything loose around here. You got the window disconnected. You got the window up. You got the regulator part way up, so it's out the way. And you have to stick a, a pry bar back in here to lift this out to where that clears the metal on the inside. And that way you can push down and over, get the top of the regulator out, and then pull it on out. Now, let's 
see what we can do here. I want to see real quick if all these screw holes are going to line back up the way they came out without any interference. so far. Believe it or not, we're getting close to being done. shame on somebody else because I know I did not lose a screw I put them all right down there I'm gonna put this back in I had it out just for an inspection point and noticing right here you can reach in here and make sure this wire is tight and we're gonna feel around and make sure it's secured and out of the way of moving parts and it seems to be good on both counts. So I'm gonna put this rubber plug back in there. And that's back in. Now we're gonna put our two pieces of foam tape back in place. This one goes here. why I'm losing the screw. Because I know I had two pieces of foam down there also. Well. Isn't that interesting? Oh, it's on my foot. On my foot. Get that back up in there. That just muffles a little bit of noise. supposed to be pulled back in that slot somewhat. And I had to open it up with the screwdriver earlier to get it in out of there. Well, I'll agree it needs to be secured. I don't think it quite needs the measure that it's got right there. This one goes here, and this one goes here, and this one goes there. Slide the latch over, and this goes here. Alrighty then. Now I just got to figure out why we're one screw short, or just get another screw from somewhere, I guess. It's not attached to a magnetic housing. Uh, he thinks it might go right there.
This handle here has to go back up there and it will wind up having the screw go right to there so yes I did need to leave that loose. Okay, now white and white, yellow and yellow. See that? This has to go back on there. And that goes there. Okay. Got that there. Now something else has to line up here probably. It's got one right there. And that's latched. Now I've got to bring this up here. Snap it in. one back here snap it in there's both of them in place now that have a larger of the torque screws this one right here and that goes in that one hole And I'm going to go ahead and tighten these three all the way up to. That's that. Man, oh man, oh man. Now. If you were in the taking apart stage, you'd, you'd be frustrated right about now. This is what you have to do. And I hope you can see this. See these ovals right here? They have plastic in them and they're melted along the edges. You have to take a, a knife and get in here and start pressing in and working your way down and get one side or the other freed up. Then once you've got that freed up, you can stick a screwdriver in there, bend it out, grab a piece of pliers, a pair of pliers, pull it out and everything will be good. But what I got to do right now is I have to cover those back up after I reset the glass. That's that's the important thing. There's resetting the glass. 
Okay, so you can't see it right now, but I'm gonna take these suction cups off. And take this wedge out. And then I just let the, you just heard the glass click in. That the regulator bar is actually up there right now. And I'm gonna try one thing real quick here. Gonna locked. Lock, unlocked. And I'm gonna make sure the window works. So that's good. Now I have to put this piece of window trim back in. There we go, that's that. Now I gotta get some tape to put over these holes. Okay, like I was saying, I don't know if you can see it here, but this is a cutout, it goes right there. So I went ahead and put some um, plastic film over there with some adhesive on it, just to keep the, the moisture from coming back on the inside of the door panel. Hopefully that'll stay pretty well. I think it will. And of course now, there's two black levers. When you take these out, you go in there with what I used and Chrysler recommended was a punch. I went in there and I pushed in on the black bar lifted up on the glass at the same time and um, then moved to the other hole and lifted up and pulled the glass on up and what you have to do is you have to stop with the glass up or almost all the way down you need to leave about an inch sticking up to be able to work so we're going to go with that saw in there and that saw in there <coughs> All these are tight, all this is tight, this is working, that's working. That latched, it's latched, these are all secured, that's all out the way. All right, now we can put the door panel back on. Slide that top edge and oops, let me get that glass of that back there real quick. Well, that was spectacular, wasn't it? All right. Yeah. Now I got to make sure nothing fell down in there that don't belong. screw just fell out all that rattling you're hearing around is there all these clips right here um, and these ones with the white around it we got to take those back out gosh darn at least i think we do because i don't think that they'll go in there and stay right this white piece is supposed to stay in the door oh my goodness gracious sakes alive Try to work with all this slippery stuff right around me and see how it goes. That's supposed to go in there. Of course, it doesn't latch very well, does it? And that's the reason why it came out. So, there's going to be no problem with it going back in, so we don't need to worry about that. And we're going to assume the same thing down here. If it'll go in well enough, so we're not going to worry about that either. Some things they got fitting too darn tight, some things don't fit at all. But what do you expect? Now, 
we are going to go up and got to get that slot in Move this down Try to get everything kind of halfway started. Let's see what's got to go where, what's being held out. There's that goes. One notch at a time. Get everything kind of lined up. Everything seems to be lined up. Now there are quite a few things that bothered me about this job. But I think the worst one was, let me get the other screw here. This is the way they put two screws inside of here. And right now it doesn't seem that bad because you're just looking at the holes and thinking, well, yeah, there should be two screws there. But when you see what they put over it, it's ridiculous. Okay. Alright, you got this piece, you got two screws in there, right? One in each hole. You got these bosses that go over it. No, that looks fine and dandy, right? Now I gotta figure out what I did with the, 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 the two screws. Why would you bother using those two big heavy screws to hold this little discussion plate on or trim plate on? It just, it doesn't make any sense at all. Why not just make longer screws and put it on, put screws all the way through and save some or just make it snap on? I don't want to strip all that plastic out, so I'll just be putting it back on like this. But like I said, it just makes no sense to me. Now we're using 230s most of the way, I mean T30s. 
And now we're going to switch over to something just a little bit smaller. I think it was a T25 to put these screws back in. One down here. This trim panel on there. Get this, you gotta slide these two in first. Get your gloves out the way, snap that in. Now we're gonna look for one more screw. It's down here somewhere. right in here so a t25 and a t30 will get you through this job and I don't remember what size Allen that is but we'll check that in a second so that's on there now the final little trim piece tools out of the way. And we grab, we haven't quite got all the tools up, we're going to grab the keys, make sure it unlocks or opens and closes. Does just fine. Now I'm going to hit lock. Lock. Two to unlock it. And it works just fine. Good to go. Good to go. Well, I'm going to clean, finish cleaning my mess up. Getting this stuff out of here, double checking everything. And I really hope you've been able to see some of that because I'm working in what I feel like is a dark hole. Let's see, everything is out of there. It's all good to go. All that's back together. Everything looks fine. Yeah. Take a rag and wipe over it gently, real quickly. And just for the sake of argument, we're going to see if the, the child door lock part of it works right. So it should not be engaged right now. And it opens just fine. Let me see if I can engage it. I don't know if I got the right size screwdriver or not. Okay, that's engaged, so it should not open from the inside now. It does not. It still opens from the outside. So we're going to turn that back so nobody gets fooled. Back working just fine. This one will be in the books and done and hopefully get it uploaded soon. Sparky out.